never doubted for one moment that we wouldn't stand here one day and reopen this store. I, I never doubted that for one moment. A community takes the next steps as it continues to honor the lives lost in the May 14th mass shooting. The tops on Jefferson Avenue where that shooting took place reopened for the first time in 62 days about 15 minutes ago. News Force Jazz Williams is live there. She can tell us what's happening. Jazz. Chris, good morning. It's been a real rise and fall as it comes to emotions, as it pertains to emotions, rather, because uh, some mixed reviews. Some people are very excited that the Tops is reopening after 62 days, but others are very upset. We just spoke with Glenn Pratcher, who was taking his daughter to school, and uh, he was very angry and, and you know, just justifiably so, very outraged, but he felt as though it's way too soon uh, to be reopening the Tops. When I came to the realization that my friends, and not even my friends, but co-workers who were there that day in the store while the shooting was taking place are able to come back, I thought the least I could do was come back. Like Mr. Persons just said, he, however, felt he was comfortable to return. And we have seen some of that as well. We've seen employees excited, some erupting into applause. We've seen prayer groups this morning. And the doors are open now. I know that it was a little touch and go for a second there where, you know, we were unsure of whether or not it was going to be 7 a.m. or 9 a.m. Tops officials did not release an official time opening, but the store is now open. And we've even seen some people go inside while others have uh, gathered on the sidewalk there to protest the reopening of the Tops location on Jefferson Avenue. We'll keep you updated as the morning progresses, but for now, I'm going to send it back to you. For News 4, Jazz Williams. Jazz, thank you. We remember the life and the legacy of Marcus Morrison. We remember the life and the legacy of Hayward Patterson. It continues to be emotional for the family and friends of those killed in the shooting. Before the new store was unveiled yesterday, leaders paid tribute to the 10 people killed in the racist attack. There were prayers and a moment of silence for the lives lost. 10 precious, beautiful members of our community had their lives taken, three others injured. We will never, ever forget them. Those at the event included State Attorney General Tish James, Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes, and Common Council President Darius Pridgen.